This is a, a painting on Arches Rough Watercolor Paper, 300 weight. I'm using watercolor, Arches um, Windsor Newton watercolor, and I'm using a Windsor Newton Cotman brush, which is a, a less expensive sable, and I'm using Windsor Newton paint. I'm painting plaster and old wood. The wood is the ceiling part, the plaster is the part with the mud nest that the swallows have built. I'll also be painting the swallows, and this is all in watercolor. I start out with a very detailed sketch using a hard lead pencil, either H2 or HB, and I erase my sketch once I've done the painting. While I'm doing the painting, I'm taking advantage of the white paper retaining the white so that it has a dimension to it as I do the dark and colored areas of the plaster and the wood. So now I'll show what I do with the plaster as I'm painting it. I'm starting out with white so then I'm going in with color and I'm blending it in a naturalistic way like pla old plaster would look. I like using a little color initially for the areas that will be seeing more light. Then when I do the darker areas, the color I was just using, by the way, is New Gamboge, which is a yellow uh, paint that has um, a real warm, deep, rich yellow. Now I'm using Ultramarine Blue mixed in with Sepia. And I'm, I'm uh, going over the dark areas that I've already gone over once. Then once these darker areas dry, I go back in with plain water and blend them a little because you don't want any real sharp edges showing. For example, the sharp edges I'm showing here in the wood, I'll soften those with plain water. That, that way it gives you a, a softer visual look that is more realistic. Then I go back in with some of the deeper areas of the plaster and I reinforce the dark lines I've put in. Then once they've dried, I'll go back in and soften them with plain water. I'm not showing any shadows just yet. That will be after I get the rest of it finished. That's good. To find out more, bookmark this page, put us on your RSS feed, thank you, and come back for another lesson.